Welcome to another video in my Christmas series of things that you can buy from GearBest, or well, knives that you can buy from GearBest at a really good price. Impress your loved ones and friends, neighbors, pals, people that you've got, you know, uh, different uh, gift giving things at the office or whatever. Really, really good choices I have for you today. These are uh, sort of small to mid-sized knives from San Ren Mew that lock. That's what this little video is going to be about. And I've got some really good choices for you. I had a really tough time knocking it down. I wanted to make it five. Uh, it's six. Well, it is what it is. This is the 7010. It used to just be known as the 710. And you can get it in, I think, seven different patterns right now. You've got this one. I really, really like this one. It's kind of cool. It reminds me of a giraffe kind of styling. Uh, yes, these are copies of Sabenza knives by Chris Reeves. Uh, you get a black stone wash. That's a panther jumping through fire. This one is the most popular one right now. So click on the link in the description below. You can watch the video reviews for these knives and you can also get links to buy these from GearBest. Thank you so much for using my links. It helps to fund this channel without it costing you a penny more. I've also got coupon codes down there. So this, the 7010, really, really nice. Uh, I'm collecting a bunch of these. I've ordered a bunch and I've got a bunch that I'm going to, I'm going to sand down this side, take the knife apart and do some fine sanding to get rid of this logo here. And then it's just going to be Nice plain satin finish, and I'm going to get some engraving done on a bunch of these for my families. I don't call it my wife and my anniversary. I call it my family anniversary because that's when our family started. Our uh, 30th anniversary is coming up in 14 months, not quite 14 months. And so I'm getting started to get ready for that. And uh, these are going to be gifts for a lot of them. I'm also going to give you know some of the larger ones as well to some more of the key people, like our, our, you know, direct children and stuff. And then friends and family will be getting, you know, the smaller ones that cost a little bit less. You can get this guy for 14 bucks sometimes. These are frame locks. You've got a pocket clip, a good length pocket clip that has got really good retention, nice open pillar construction, uh, really nice steel on these blades. Really, really good choice, and I just love them and love them and love them. And I could talk about these things forever. Uh, I take the pocket clip off some of them. It keeps them a little bit thinner and more discreet to just drop in a pocket. Nice big lanyard hole, or you can just use the tip-down pocket clip wherever you want. And yeah, some people don't like tip-down pocket clips, but don't let that stop you from getting this. This is probably the best knife that you can get under ten dollars in the world it just might be it's that good and yes they chose a really good design to emulate to get that but they also did really good construction good materials good uh, machine work and good labor work to get these as good as they are so let's put these to the side right here so we can think about them during the video. You don't forget about those. We also have these. Oh, these are great. My very first video review was this knife. You can get it in a liner lock. You can get them in an access lock. This is the Sanren Mew 7063. L-U-C, A-U-C. And uh, you got a pocket clip that you can do on the liner lock. You can do tip up or tip down on the pocket clip. On the axis lock, you only have a tip up option, which most people prefer anyway. So that's not a problem at all. But right side only, nothing on the left side for you for any pocket clips. Really nice texture on here. These are aluminum. And then you've got these great hollow grind blades, nice deep blades. Very fine edge, super sharp. They cut great. They can pierce very well. Very comfortable in hand. It's got enough girth that it really helps fill out your hand. My hands are large, bordering on extra large, and they just, you know, are very comfortable around there. People with smaller hands are going to find it even more comfortable. 
hands that are larger than mine in the extra large range, well, most of these knives are not going to work that great for you. They're only going to get a little bit smaller in the future. Really nice washers in here, nice smooth action, and uh, I really like the access lock. I can just spend a lot of time, if I hold it just right, you know, playing with it, of flicking it. I'm not that good at this one because I haven't broken this one in, but flicking it open and closed and open and closed. Uh, I'm sitting in an awkward position with all this apparatus. I don't have room, but I really like playing with these knives. And the pocket clip is a very nice pocket clip and a really good lanyard hole option. Really, really nice. Let's put those across the top. What's another choice? Do you like Tantos? I like Tantos. There you go. This is the 7071 Tanto Blade. Hollow grind here, flat grind here, drop point, swedge, nice jimping, backspacer, really good lanyard hole, frame lock, and you can get it in this all steel version, or you have four G10 versions. Uh, basically, you got a black G10, or you get this sort of creamy, sandy colored G10, and two of each of those. They do have this nice deep pocket clip, but it is in the tip-down orientation, at least on this frame lock. I don't have any of the G10 ones left. I've given them all away. You'll be able to check on the pictures if it's got the uh, pocket clip in the tip-up position or not. One really cool feature on this knife is not only is it a great tanto blade, nice knife, rock solid and everything, when the knife is closed, what you've got there, this part clicks into the the uh, stop pin there, but like this, it's a bottle opener. <sharp inhale> Built-in bottle opener. So we've got bottle opener, we've got pocket clip, we've got frame lock, we've got tanto. Ho ho ho! Nice! Very nice. Oh, by the way, these work the same way. Bottle opener right there. <sharp inhale> what else do we have? We've got this one here. Actually, I'm going to do that one last. What else do we have? we got this guy. One of my favorites. I don't know how they got the action so smooth on this, but the action on this liner lock is just phenomenal. It's the best action on a wee knife. Well, it's a little bit bigger than a wee knife, but on a smaller knife, best action of all of my small knives. Oh, it's great. Really nice grind. Nice stabby. You know, it's got a straight spine here, a little bit of a thumb riser there. Thumb studs, uh, you don't need the thumb studs because you've got the flippa. And you know, liner lock locks up really great. Backspacer here, uh, you get it in a couple colors. And there's a pocket clip, nice small tip up pocket clip. That works just great. Uh, you get a little bit of knife exposed if you don't use that. Cool lanyard hole. And... Uh, Fits in the hand very well. A variety of different grips feel very good in the hand. Pinch grip, you know, what have you. It's very light and it looks really nice. Don't sneak up. That's going to cut your finger. Uh, sharpener's Troil, you know, just everything you want in a really nice knife. And it's a designer knife. Windrunner designed by Sanren Mew. This is the 7076. Really, really good choice. You will not be disappointed if you get one of these, either for yourself or for a friend. Another one, this is, I feel the same way about this one. This one's a gentleman's knife. It's got a dragon design on it. That's really cool. And that's the only design of this style knife that they have. Uh, if you take the pocket clip off, you've got enough room on this side to do some engraving if you'd like. Full flat grind on the 7129 uh, frame lock. There's the detent ball you can see on the other side there. Nice and thin, light, great blade on it. Feels very good in hand. Good size blade. Nice lanyard hole there. Um, just an awesome knife. Pocket clip is unique. It's not just one that they took off the shelf. I wish it was a, one of those over, like this kind of style pocket clip. Uh, but if you put this pocket clip on there with that on an angle, you know, they'd be coming right off the side. If they would have made these straight this way, it would have been better. But this pocket clip right now acts as some protection so you can't overextend your frame lock. So that's a good thing. And, you know, 
all Torx. Nice pins in there. Nice hourglass shape pillars for that open pillar construction. Awesome, awesome, thin, light, little knife that looks great. And uh, it's, I really, really love this knife. I don't carry it very often because I don't want to scratch it up with my change and stuff in my pocket. But I play with it at home an awful lot. I love this knife. Um, my son's got a big dragon tattoo on his forearm. Um, he's he's the one who's going to get married this spring. I'm probably going to buy one of these. Uh, of course, I'm giving him much better gifts than that. But one of his gifts is going to be a little dragon knife like this. Really great. And a final mention is if you've got a lady in your life, this knife comes in two other styles that have sort of a floral motif. So if there's somebody, uh, a female who likes flowers and likes that kind of styling, this knife is a designer knife. Uh, this designer name that I just don't know the name of. It looks like it starts with an A. This is the 7073. I'll show you pictures of the two knives that have that floral design. Lots of room here to do some engraving if you wanted to. Torx construction, a nice pocket clip, frame lock, and the pocket clip comes down and acts as protection right there against overextending this frame lock. Big backspacer, well not big, but backspacer complete over there. Easy to clean out there with a Q-tip uh, or what, what have you. Nice swedge across the top. Hollow grind, very nice blade. And when you get that female styling in there, that's really, really nice. And uh, my wife's going to be getting one of those. So uh, don't tell her that I said so. But nice little lanyard hole right back here at the very end. I much prefer when they're at the very end. This is really well done. So this is the 7073 again. Uh, great choice as the bonus knife for any uh, ladies you have in your life or life in your knife. This sort of, this isn't titanium, it's just the titanium kind of color. This plain, you know, titanium colored blade is just a really great choice, you know, for anybody. It's a gentleman styling. Uh, I would take the pocket clip off probably to just drop it in my folder as a, you know, deep pocket carry. Or you can carry it with a pocket clip. Really nice choices. So here are the smaller sort of mid-size, not small enough to be wee knives, but the locking knives by San Mew that I recommend for gift giving. Really great choices. Any one of these is going to make somebody on your list super happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please use the links in my description and uh, buy these through Gearbest from those links. That really does help Canadian Cutting Edge. I do have coupon codes down there as well to save you a little bit extra. Remember, oh, this one's got a little sneak up trail too. Remember, always cut towards your chum. Oh, that's a stab, not a cut, isn't it? Cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Bye bye